My name is Richard Severis. I was born in Nicosia and I worked for a few years abroad. But my love for the island was calling me. So I came back and made my life here. So many people have come through this island, starting with Phoenicians, ancient Greeks, Byzantines, French, Venetian, Ottoman, British, everybody that passed through this island left their footprints on it. So it is really a multi-layered and multicultural island. Since 1974, the island has been divided. Recently, things are getting better. The Greek and Turkish Cypriot communities are getting together more often. But still, we are a divided country and it is hard for everybody. But my husband and I started collecting in uh, 1983, basically to decorate our home. And we concentrated on paintings, artifacts and costumes of Cyprus. And we realized that it was telling a story. It was telling the story of Cyprus and the Cypriots throughout. So we decided to establish the Center of Visual Arts and Research and share this story with the Cypriots and with the world at large. Everybody can see the common heritage of Greek and Turkish Cypriots and how close we were. Görsel Sanatlar ve Araştırma Merkezi Sivar'da kurul üyesi. Kıbrıs'ın dört tarafında konserler veren, gerek senfoni gerekse oda orkestralarında baş kemancı olarak çalışmaktayım. Sivar, iki toplumlu ve ayrıca da çok toplumlu yapısıyla ve sanatsal yapısıyla toplumların bir araya gelebileceği, insanların faydalı konuşmalar yapabileceği, birbirleriyle kafalarında sınırlar olmadan konuşup birbirlerini ait hissedebilecekleri bir yer olması bakımından benim için çok önemli. Buranın sanatsal gücünün, sanatın birleştirici ve köprü konumunda olmasını göz önüne alarak iki toplumun iyileşmesine yardımcı olabileceğini söyleyebiliriz. Λοιπόν, υπάρχει μια έκφραση που μου έμεινε που την αρχή μου άρχισα να ασχολούμαι με αυτόν τον τομέα. The art is a state of encounter. Ε, είναι μια συνάντηση με τον εαυτό μα, με την ταυτότητα μα, με την ιστορία μα, με τι αναμνήσει μα, με τι προκαταλήψει μα. Και πιστεύω ότι το CDAR αξιοποιεί του την, την πτυχή τη εμπειρία τη τέχνη με το να αναδεικνύει μια κοινή ιστορία. The Cypriots in the 19th century, the only way to distinguish who was Greek Cypriot and who was Turkish Cypriot was by the colors they wore and not the fez. Both communities used the fez. The Turkish Cypriots wore lighter clothes. The Greek Cypriots wore darker colors. Artifacts are also examples of our common heritage. Greek and Turkish and Cypriot women every Friday would go to the Hammam and it was a social occasion. They, could, they would take their children with them, they would take food and drink and spend the whole day gossiping, exchanging news, etc. <laughs> Apart from holding exhibitions, we have a series of educational programs for children. It's very important to target youth. You have to take these young souls and teach them to love, to respect the other. Cyprus is a multicultural island and it should stay like that. From our past, we can build bridges for a common future, a peaceful future.